Let's make puddles interact with rain using dynamic paint in Blender. I started by adding a plane, subdivide it and give it 50 or 100 cuts. Then go into sculpt mode, choose the grab brush and sculpt some puddles onto the surface. You can add a subdivision modifier on the plane to make it smoother. And as you can see, I have removed all the parts of the plane that are outside my camera bounds. Next, add another plane and move it slightly below on the Z axis to add some water inside the puddles. Then in edit mode, I subdivided it 50 times, selected only the areas around my puddles, Control i to invert the selection and remove the extra faces. Then add another plane for our rain particle system. In edit mode, I shaped it just to cover our ground surface. Let's add a particle system on this and change the number of particles to about 10,000. And when you hit play, you can see them in the viewport. Let's add an icosphere to render as a rain particle. I slightly elongated the icosphere on the z-axis to look more like a droplet. Then go to your particle system, render, select object and then choose the eyedropper to select your icosphere. Then select your ground plane, add a collision on it and enable kill particles so that particles don't accumulate on the surface. You can change the scale of the rendered particles and also increase the scale randomness so that we get different size particles. Next step is to select the puddle water surface, go to the physics settings and add a dynamic paint on it. Leave it on canvas and click add canvas. Then select your plane with the rain particle system, add a dynamic paint on it. Change the type to brush, add brush and the paint type to particle system and select the particle system that we made. Now when you hit play, you can see that the particles interact with the water surface. You can select the water surface and go to the dynamic paint settings. Increase or decrease the scale influence and the radius for different effects. For slight ripples from rainwater, keep the radius relatively low and adjust the scale influence until you like the behavior of the ripples in the water surface. I went for a very low radius and less than half scale influence. Next I just slapped on some materials from Blender Kit, a wet ground texture for the ground plane and also added a cloudy HDRI for the lighting. I also cycled through different water materials to use for the puddles. And for the raindrops, I gave it a bluish tint, low roughness, transmission weight 50%, shaded smooth and also added a subdivision modifier on it. Make your final checks on the simulations that we have created for the dynamic paint. You can also add a wind force field and increase the strength if you want to affect the raindrops. For further chaos, you can add a turbulence field in the middle of the ground plane and increase the strength. After all this, we need to bake the simulation so that we are not taxing our CPU every time. Let's start by baking the particle system and then we'll bake the dynamic paint system. Make sure you have set the correct frame ranges in both the physics systems. After baking, you'll see that the simulations are playing smoothly in your viewport. And that's how I created this realistic ripple effect and I'm going to use it in my upcoming short film called Chai. Stay tuned, subscribe and follow me on Instagram to get all the updates.